Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM. Today's tutorial we are going to see how to deploy the single sign-on code in IDD as well as in the MDM hub. So before going to see how to do that, we have to make sure a couple of things we have completed. The very first thing we have to verify whether the, all the users are configured correctly or not. So you can go to the MDM hub and make sure all users are configured correctly. Also make sure the roles also capture and configure correctly for given ORS. So in our case, it's a CMX ORS. We have created few users and we also created few roles like business users and data steward. So once we are done with this definitions of users and roles, next thing we have to uh, do is nothing but we have to go to the IDD application and make sure at least one of the application is configured. This is optional step but it is always good idea to have the application ready so that the rest of configuration is easy to configure. So we have these roles and we also have the, the IDD application. The third thing which we need to verify is our jar file. So make sure this custom SSO jar file is already created if you have not seen my previous video about how to create the jar file then go ahead and see my previous video uh, about how to create this jar file so this jar file is also required and it's need to be ready so we have these three components ready mdm hub idd application and this custom jar file so from where should we start so the the, the first thing is we have to configure this jar file at the two locations one in the IDD and the second in the uh, MDM hub in the MDM hub so there is a security provider here we have to configure and also in the IDD we have the login provider setting so we have to configure here as well so it's a good idea to start with the IDD so just click on the login provider setting on the left hand side of the panel and this is the IDD config page I'm sure you're aware about this page I'm not going to explain in detail about this page what it contains so we are mostly focusing on configuring this SSO jar files so once you select that on the right hand side you'll see some message like this IDD, IDD is configured for using built-in login provider use hub console for managing list of available users so for managing users we have to definitely go for uh, MDM hub but this is to configure the login provider click on the edit button and here are the three options the custom login provider implementation archive that is the name of, that is the jar file which we have to retry login provider implementation archive and login provider class name let's see how it works so we'll just copy this path and we'll import in the IDD application so click on this browse button so once you click this browse button it will take us to our next screen to select the jar file Paste the copy, uh, copied path and select this jar file. You can give any name to this jar file. There is no restriction for that. So this has started importing that jar file. You can see the progress also. Now you can see the custom SSO jar also. Click OK. So what is the class name we have to provide? OK, so here it's some mandatory. The class name for the login provider is we have to copy from this jar file there is either one way is you can open your eclipse and copy from there or second thing is just right click on this jar file and you can extract here i would just say extract inside that folder it is extracting you'll see a couple of folders like com.info.sso and we have to copy this name so we have to make sure we are currently copying so what are the login provider you give the name you have to copy that you can give any name again there is no restriction but make sure it implement the login provider provide here and click ok let me try with 
So this kind of error might occur if your meta inf do not have the proper uh, proper uh, properties. So I'm just going to see what meta inf contains and just open it. So it has several properties. and the custom factor is also there provider name so all properties looks good to me meta app is also has the basic definition that is also correct uh, let's try one more option uh, which I already compiled have so let me try to use this file which is again the same just slight ch minor changes let me reset this browse it again browse from different location custom login and import and I will use the same class name let me try to extract it here the classes are same it's nothing uh, different but it could be some of the configurations are missing so I'm just going to use that and this time I will try to use the user profile and let's try it out so something is wrong with this jar file let's try out in the MDM hub it works there in order to do in the MDM hub you have to make sure you have the acquire the log and then you can see the provider these are the by default provider like MDM internal login mod module MDM internal super login module MDM internal certificate authentication then in the authorization provider we have the MDM internal authorization provider MDM internal super authorization provider and user providers so that is MDM internal provider here what we'll do so in, uh, in order to add the, the providers we can provide the, the custom okay so here uh, in the provider files we can provide our custom provider so you have to just select and right click upload provider file and what are the path we have like let me copy that path select here just select this go to MDM hub open it and select the jar file click open if everything is good it will create the provide authentication provider it will create the authentication uh, it, it will create authentication provider authorization provider and user profile let me select the custom login module I can see here let me see the custom login module I can see and here uh, actually the user provider should populate let me see MDM internal and I can see here the custom user profile provider so so by this way actually uh, we can at least import the profile provider uh, in the MDM hub so I can see inside the um, provider files I can see this custom login provider in the authentication I can see the authentication there the authorization will happen through MDM hub so that's the reason the users and roles present in the MDM hub particular roles present in the MDM hub so authorization will be still in the in the MDM hub but the authentication will be going through the single sign-on and uh, also we can see the user provide uh, user profile provider is also a custom user profile provider so all this is correctly imported so that is one task so let's go back and check about the IDD whether we will be able to do that or not I'm just going to import here also and here login provider class name let's try it one more time 
login provider class name is this click ok let me type it class okay so maybe something wrong with this I need to check in the log but these are the two locations where we are to provide the uh, SSO jar file um, about the, the uh, so once you provide and was successfully deployed when are you next time access the added application so you'll be accessing you'll be going to this URL and you will access this once you access this so it it will uh, on the first time definitely when you're logging to the network or in your uh, uh, your security domain it will ask uh, you your username password but IED will not ask the uh, username passwords so if you notice here I was able to log in without providing username and password because the SSO is enabled here and it is going through that secure layer so it is not going to ask me to provide the username password it will automatically log in so this is the way a SSO will be implemented uh, the custom code is already available on the other website the another thing is the all the custom code whatever we have developed it will be available on my blog so you can definitely visit my blog which is mentioned at the bottom of this video and if you have any questions or queries uh, you can definitely mention in the comment section of this video I hope you are enjoying this video uh, if you have any questions or queries you can definitely mention in the comment section of this video or at my blog thank you again have a nice time